Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about how to synchronize XML definition in Power Center. The agenda of this video is to see why XML synchronization is needed, how to synchronize XML definition and then we will see a demo of the same. Why do we need XML definition synchronization? XML source definition or the document type definition used to import the XML definition can be changed with time. This changes can be of the type addition or deletion of the elements and attributes or may be changed in the data type. So in order to be sync with the change XSD or DTD, XML synchronization is needed. How do, how do we synchronize XML definition? We can do it in two ways. The first one is to go into the XML import wizard, choose the XML definition synchronization option and then follow the steps. The second one can be right click on the XML definition and choose the XML synchronization definition option and then follow the steps. Doing this, the designer updates the XML schema in the navigator. But it does not update the views in the XML definition. We will have to go manually and add the elements in the view in the XML editor. Now we will go and see the demo of the same. So here I have taken one employees.xsd file which is present in our client installation directory. Now I will go ahead and import my source definition. So I will go on source and click on import xml definition. I will select employees.xsd file and will click on open. So I have given the name as employees for my xml definition. Then we will click on next and select the hierarchical hierarchy relationship and then we will click on finish. In this XML definition, we can see that the employee definition has employee ID, department ID, last name, first name, street address, city, state, zip and uh, employee state and then date of hire. Apart from that, we have other definitions like phone, email, salary, salary. I'll just double click on my XML definition and this will bring up XML editor has come up. So here you can see the views of the different definitions we had in the XML. On the left hand side you will see a navigator which will have all the elements of the schema which are defined in the schema definition. Now we will go ahead and make changes in our XST. So I have modified few things in my uh, employees.xsd file and saved it as employees underscore new XSD. So I have used the exam def tool in which we can see what are the differences in this file. So here we see that in the original file, the type of this zip element was in teacher and now I have modified it to string we'll see we have we'll see that uh, we we see that the last name was an element in the previous file which has been removed from the new file and also we will see that there is one new element which is gender which has been created in the new file so this means that we have done the modifications in the terms of changing the data type adding some of the elements and deleting some of the elements. So let's go and synchronize this. So now I am back to my designer. So as I mentioned, there were two ways of synchronization. So we can click here and click uh, the synchronize XML definition or we can directly click on our XML definition and click on XML syn uh, synchronize XML definition. So I'm using this method now. So now we will select the new file and we'll click open. So with this, 
our XML synchronization has been done. So we will go ahead and see whether the synchronization happened or not. So let me just double click on this on this XML definition. We see that the data type of the zip has been changed from integer to string and also we see that the new element which is gender has been added. Also we see that the last name has been removed as we did in the employees underscore new. The XML synchronization operation does not update the view. It will add, it will not add whatever new elements we have added, although it will delete the elements whatever we have deleted. Also we can see that the data type of the zip has already been modified. So we'll have to go and do that manually. So let's see how to do that. So we'll simply click uh, right click on our uh, view and then we'll click on navigate to XM, XPath Navigator and then we will select our element and we'll simply drag and drop the same. So once we do that, we'll see that the gender has been added. We can just apply the changes by clicking on file and apply changes and then we are done. So we see that now the gender element has been added and we see that the last, uh, last name is not there anymore. With this, we finish our demo session. You can refer to our knowledge base articles in case if you face any issue while doing the same. For more details on XML synchronization, you can refer to our XML guide. We would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on info. Infra support. Thank you so much for your time.